Hello my wonderful friends and welcome back. Magus here reading out of the 2600 year old Magi text. Today we are on 16. Everyone who is of the truth hears the truth. If you've been following me this long I have a feeling you hear the truth or <laughs> you wouldn't still be here. Hallelujah. Um, I want to say something shocking for a moment. Most mainstream religion today teaches a dark magic. What do I mean by that? If you haven't already turned off this video. <laughs> what I am saying is that if you believe in the law of attraction and resonance and what you hold in your mind you create in your world, if you believe you are a creative being and what you vibrate you create, then if you have an idea of a mixed God that is mixed with good and evil that he um, can love and he can hate, um, he can create and he can destroy, you will never rise above that idea. Your world will always look like that. You will always have peace at some times and you will always have war at some times. You will have love and you will have hate. What the Magi teach, what Zarathustra's message was, what Good Spirit intended when he created this universe, when he created you, was perfection. In truth, you are perfect. In truth, this world is perfect. A perfect creator's perfect mind created a perfect you and a perfect world. Hallelujah. And as we've learned before, I won't go back all through it, but what you see that is not is lie and illusion, which can be changed by vibrating differently. If a religion teaches that it's okay to war um, and calls that God, um, that's uh, survival of the fittest. Uh, they're not going to the highest thought. They're not going to Asha, uh, God's perfect thought. And um, the worst part is when they call that lower idea God and they put their stamp of approval on it and it brings confusion. And uh, they cannot save you because they have not saved themselves. And so thank God if you've come along this far, um, you are awakening uh, to who God is and to who you are and how to change your world. Okay, so let's get to it. Uh, number 16, if you have books, read along with me. Everyone who is of the truth hears the truth. When man sins or thinks, speaks or acts in error, it is against his nature, for he comes from the good spirit and will return to the good spirit. God put the good mind or divine spark in all his creatures, so it has a guide at all times. It's how the seed knows how to climb out of the ground and become a plant, how the planets stay their course, and how man will find his way home to Asha. Truth. Let's pause there for a minute, just to remind you that that same power that uh, keeps the planets uh, on their course, that uh, tells uh, a seed to become a plant, um, it's that same power that's inside of you that if you cut yourself, that it heals itself. You don't have to consciously heal a wound on you. You don't have to consciously, when you eat food, tell it where to go to nourish your body. You don't have to consciously think about how many times your heart beats. You have access to that divine intelligence when you learn how to tap into it. Uh, living in truth is life without enemies. For evil, the lie and illusion is rendered nothing. So go Ashavan truth knower in truth, knowing this wonderful life, knowing you are God's thought, living in God's idea, perfection. Um, we live in a world we are thinking of. So always um, live in the highest idea. Watch what your eyes see and your ears hear. Good in, good out. Within, without. So know thyself and when you truly know who you are, that you are um, from God, you are um, God consciousness vibrating in a form, then you will truly know good. Um, you realize that there's a time for a withdrawal uh, from society and from the madness. Sometimes you have to pull back, uh, turn off the news, stop listening to your negative friends, and um, go walk in the mountains and have solitude and meditate um, and confront your own inner world and gain wisdom and self-awareness. And then you will see that you radiate a higher spiritual force and then you can be a light going out into the world uh, to help others. And on that note, I want to give you a little homework. 
Um, and then please go into the comments and tell me uh, how it went. But in your meditation, before you go out the next day, whatever you're doing, if you're going to work, school, grocery store, whatever it is, um, before you go, go into your meditation, center yourself, remember who you are, um, and do your I am meditations. I am love. I am peace. I am joy. Think of things that you love and, and let your vibration rise to that love. Then when you go out, um, take your eyes off yourself and put it on other people. There's a lot of hurting people out there and um, we can't help them if we're wondering what do they think of us. I heard someone laugh. Were they laughing at me? Um, what did they mean by that when they said that? And you're so focused on yourself um, and you're, you can't help anyone else. So before you go out, do your meditation, come into that vibration of God, Asha, truth, um, that you are love, you are peace, you are powerful and free, you are good, you are worthy. And um, then go out, take your eyes off yourself, and see how can you help other people. If someone uh, makes a rude remark, instead of getting defensive, realize they must be going through something, they must be hurting, and then see how you can help them. Give them a kind word back. Start spreading light and love, hallelujah. Um, I want to read uh, out of the Tao Te Ching. Um, I love this, and I think it'll bless you. I am an immortal being having a temporary human experience. Between birth and death, three and ten are followers of life, three and ten are followers of death. And men just passing from, death, from birth to death also number three and ten. Why is this so? Because they clutch to life and cling to this passing world. But there is one out of ten, they say, so sure of life that tigers and wild beasts keep clear. Weapons turn from him in the battlefield. Rhinoceroses have no place to horn him. Tigers find no place for claws. And soldiers have no place to thrust their blades. Why is this so? Because he dwells in that place where death cannot enter. Realizing your essence, you will witness the end without ending Lao Tzu um, and that makes me think of what Jesus said that he that holds my vibration and trust fully believes good spirit finds life that higher life um, everything you've been taught that is not good is a lie you don't have to get sick you don't have to suffer you don't have to go from storm to storm um, you can live that perfect idea uh, you can be God's perfect thought just by changing your thoughts and um, and the most important thing I hope you've gotten out of this is love. The lesson is always love. If you vibrate love, if you be love, if you feel love, if you are love, if you give love, it'll change everything. Anyway, I love you guys so much. Um, it's kind of sad that was the last one. It's bittersweet. I'm glad we got these done and I hope it's been a blessing to you. Um, let me know. Leave the comments. If you want me to... I just thought of this. Hold on one sec. I do have one of my other books, Gold, Frankincense, Myrrh, and Spiritual Gifts of the Magi. Um, there's a lot of great teachings in here. This is a funny book. Um, it's one of my all-time favorites, but it did not sell well. Like, Still Pulls of the Mind, Everyone Loved, Asha's Selling Wonderfully. This is one of my favorite books. The way it's written, um, it's a study, it's a hard study. Um, it was written by the Magi in a way they were going through quite a bit of persecution, so they had to hide their teachings in the writing. And so what I did is I went through here and I pulled out um, the hidden teachings in here. I think it's fascinating. I love it. I'm fascinated by the Magi. I always wondered how did they know uh, that the Messiah was born and the, and the Hebrew, the Jewish people, missed it. How did they follow a star? You know, I just, I was always fascinated with, um, as I told you before, magic uh, is named after the Magi. I love magic miracles. I love Jesus walking on water and, and making food and, and just, you know, I love that kind of stuff. And so, um, let me know. If you guys want me to do this, um, maybe we'll start a whole nother one. Let me know in the comments. Um, anyway, I love you guys so much and I will see you next time.